Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day so far. So we're changing things up a little bit today. We're in the corner of my room instead of over there. So welcome to my dining room. <laughs> let me know if you like this background because I think it's kind of cute to have the leaves behind me and yeah, let me know what you think. So today I am here to bring you my favorite things that I've accumulated over the last couple of months. I'd like to do favorites videos every couple of months simply because I feel like I get really like overwhelmed by products so often that I go through things and I don't know if I like them until maybe like a couple of months later. So I like to wait and give it some time and then I know which stuff I genuinely really am loving because I can see what I'm using and reaching for a lot over time. So I'm going to get into it. This is my February favorite for 2015. 2016. What am I doing with my life? Okay, so first thing I want to give a mention to this month is actually a candle. So this is a Jo Malone candle. As you can tell, I used it right through because it just smelled so damn good. Um, this is the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia scented candle. And oh my God, I'm telling you, right? So this was given to me as a gift. So I wasn't like, I was aware that they were expensive candles, but I wasn't aware of just how expensive they are. Cause I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'll just buy a new one as soon as it finishes. Anyway, finished it, looked online, 80 something dollars for a candle. Oh, if I was rich, I would be buying these every week, but oh my God, this smells seriously amazing. If it is within your price range, definitely you need to go check this out because they may cost like $85, but I feel like they're a really good option for gifts. And if you can resist burning them, they look really cute as like homewares and sort of like sitting on tables and stuff. And the best part is I've been actually using this as a brush holder. So for all my makeup brushes, I've been putting it inside and yeah, using it as my new brush holder. So that is amazing. I love it. Next up, I have two hair products that I want to share with you. The first one I did mention in my collab with Zara when I was on her channel, we were doing a January favorite, but I love it so much that I want to share it with you. So this is the Garnier Fructus Full and Luscious Volume Booster Texturizing Spray. And let me tell you, this is actually the best um, volumizing spray that I have found on the market so far. Um, I'm addicted to anything that says volumizing. I'll be walking down that aisle and as soon as I say volumizing, I'm like, yep, that's going in my trolley. <laughs> So yeah, this is, I've tried it all basically, and this is legit the best texturizing and volume booster that I have ever tried. My hair is so flat that, normally, I did a hair tutorial. <laughs> my hair is so flat that it just sticks to my head and it gets really oily really quickly because it is so close to my scalp. So this has been amazing. It just boosts your hair from the roots. I always like get little bits up, pop a little bit in, and then I just scrunch it up and it just works. I love it. So if you have really fine hair like me, definitely go check this out. This is my favorite so far. So my second hair favorite is actually a dry shampoo. And this is something that is very new and very different. So this is from Evita and I came across this when I was at the Mac Trends presentation. So there was like sort of an event for, I think it was for the David Jones fashion runway for last month, I think. Anyway, Aveda was doing the hair for the fashion show and they were using this product. So it is a dry shampoo, but with a twist. It's a dry shampoo that actually isn't an aerosol. So basically it's like powder and all you do is, hang on, hopefully you'll be able to see this. You squeeze it. Oh, get my hair in that. <laughs> you squeeze it and just powder comes out. So there's no aerosol. You can take it on the plane with you. Like how amazing is that? Just spray it through your head, squeeze it, I'm finding that it's lasting forever. A lot longer than aerosol cans because I am using this a lot. And I can still feel the weight in it, there's still quite a lot in there and I've been using it pretty much daily. So this is like, honestly, not only is it really convenient because of the powder form, but it's also probably one of the best dry shampoos I've tried so far. Um, it does give a good volume boost as well, which I really, really like because as I told you, my hair is just like, so yeah, this has definitely been a favorite over the past couple of months and I think it might be turning into a holy grail quite potentially. Next up, I have a foundation and this foundation has been a recent find that is very quickly becoming quite a staple. So this is actually the Miracle Cushion by Lancome. Lancome? Yeah. And I'm actually really, really loving it. I heard some really good reviews from it and Chloe Morello absolutely loves it. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. I got one that's way too dark for me, unfortunately, so it's like really, really dark, but I am wearing it today because I have a tan. And so far, I found it to be really long wearing and just has given a really nice 
full coverage, like just some medium to full coverage, coverage. Um, it's really hard to explain when you like a foundation why you like it, but all I know is it stays on my skin really well, it seems quite long wearing, and it just looks lovely. It really, really does, and it applies really smoothly. Um, yeah, this has been an absolute pleasure to put on my face. Um, I do know for a cheaper alternative, L'Oreal have come out with their same sort of thing as the Lancome um, Miracle Cushion. So they have theirs coming out. I have got it, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'll let you guys know and keep you updated, possibly on Snapchat or something, um, to let you know how that goes. But if you're looking for a cheap alternative, that one has been getting raved about, so I would check that out for sure. Another favourite I have in the makeup states has been a very long time favourite, but I've once again started reaching for it, kind of addictively almost, um, and that is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. So I have recently hit pan in this, it's just hit the bottom, um, and that's literally probably been from the past couple of weeks of me just intensively using it. Um, I've been using it to set my face every day with my normal everyday makeup routine, and I've just forgotten how much I love it. It's just the perfect amount of a little bit of light coverage to go over the concealer, but it is also just, it, it sets well. It doesn't get sweated through. Sweat through? Yeah. And it's just really, really nice. I always reach for it. You know how sometimes you don't even know how to explain why you like a product, but you just keep reaching for it? It's one of those ones. I can't exactly say what sets this apart, but I know that it is a part because it's one of my go-tos all the time. So this is definitely a favorite as well. Then I have another product, and it's actually from Lancome as well, so sorry about that. Um, it is a mascara. This has become my favorite mascara for every day. Um, it is, what is it called? The Grandois. Grandois. Um, but this is like, honestly, the cutest, most beautiful packaging. I don't know if you can, it's so gorgeous. And it honestly just looks amazing on the eyelashes. It is quite thickening, but not too lengthening. It's very, very thickening, but I have the length in my lashes already, so I find it to be really good. Um, one thing that I have to admit to you is I have a really, really bad habit of picking my mascara off at the end of the day. So if a mascara comes off like really easily, that you can just like scrape it off your eyelashes, it is like my favorite thing in the world because I get a weird amount of pleasure from doing that. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> But this just comes off so easily. You don't need to use cotton pads or anything. It'll just like come off your lashes. You can just pick it off. That's really bad, but like I just, I do it. But yeah, I love this so much. It looks amazing on my lashes. If you want to see it in action, I actually used it in my natural everyday makeup routine, which I uploaded probably about five or six videos ago. So I'll link it, I'll put it in a little card up here. Um, but yeah, check out that if you want to see it in action because yeah, it kind of speaks for itself. Next up, I want to give some loving to some products that you put makeup on your face with. I just said that way too complicated. I want to give some love to Beauty Blender. <laughs> so recently, I got a whole heap of Beauty Blenders. I always lose my Beauty Blenders and I can't find them. So when I was at an event the other day, they had literally like bowls full of Beauty Blenders. So I was like stashing them in my handbag. I, like, I am obsessed with them. Nothing applies makeup quite like a Beauty Blender. It is just so flawless. The finish is just so skin-like. I just think once you go Beauty Blender, you just don't go back. Um, and there's so many different colors and they're so fun and they're just, they're so cute. I just love Beauty Blenders. I really, really love Beauty Blenders. If you have not gotten on the Beauty Blender wagon yet, get on it. And I know there's a lot of different types of sponges, but honestly, Beauty Blender is the one to go for because I haven't found a sponge yet that works quite the same way as a Beauty Blender does. Okay, if you've been following me for a while, you'll totally be aware that I am a perfume hoarder. So I have two more perfumes to talk to you about today. And they are, first of all, I have the Ellie Sab. Once again, I can never say anything right. Tell me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, Rose Couture Perfume. And this is honestly so beautiful. If you guys like Chloe, the original Chloe scent in the little, um, the little square sort of rectangular shaped box with the little bow on the front, then you are going to adore this. It smells very, very similar. It's just very rose. Very, very rose, but a beautiful, soft and gentle rose. It's the only way I can explain it. It's like a soft, gentle rose, very similar to Chloe. So if you like scents like that, definitely give this a sniff. This is now available in Maya. I think in Australia it's exclusively available in Maya, but I'm not sure about overseas. So 
it'll be somewhere in your country. Um, but it is very new and it is very beautiful. So my second perfume is actually, I think possibly for men, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't judge me. Um, it is by, I can't really say the name, it's Neema, Neema, but it's just so beautiful. It's called Leia. There's also a white version, but I don't like it as much. This one is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it smells so incredibly sweet and musky that it's almost sickening, but it's so actually addictive. Like, you know how if you really like lollies, you'll understand like sweet is just so addictive. It's like that in a scent form. Like I just want to keep on smelling it. And in fact, I'm going to keep smelling it. I can't work out if it's a men's scent or not. Like, I feel like I would pounce on someone whether they're a man or a woman in this. I want to pounce on myself right now. Anyway, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll link it all down below so it's not so confusing. Um, oh, it smells so good. Ugh. Okay, that's all the makeup, hair and beauty stuff out of the way. I want to tell you guys now about a few things that I've been loving in my actual life. And I'm going to start with a TV show that I have been obsessed with and I am so excited for the new season to start, so I really want you guys to get on it. Um, I am obsessed with Outlander. I don't know if you guys have heard about it before, but it was a book series. And I'd read the book series and then I had no idea that there was a TV show. And then I was at work one time and I was like, oh, look at that. Anyway, picked it up, realized it was the exact same as the book I was reading or had read years back. It is such a good TV show. It's basically about this girl who goes back in time, she's a nurse from World War II, goes back in time and is sent back to Scotland in this in 17 something, 1700s, somewhere around there. Anyway, she falls in love, there's like war, sex and drama, it's just, it's just everything. It's so intense and it's so good. Like, oh, if you like history, like I really love history stuff, you will adore this, so definitely go check out Outlander. It is amazing. And I know I'm a little bit late to the bandwagon here, but one more thing I want to talk about is a movie, and that is Star Wars. Have you seen Star Wars yet? Because it is like incredible. It is actually incredible. So I kind of did this embarrassing thing where the premiere night, Josh was still overseas. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, my boyfriend had been away again. We were doing the whole distance thing again. He's back now, he just got back, he's got a job, everything's sorted, he's not going anywhere. Um, but he was away and we'd been watching all the Star Wars movies together so that we could watch the last one together and then he had to go away. But on the premiere night, I actually had an event that I was meant to go to and it was a pretty fancy event. Um, and I didn't go to the event because I had too much work to do and instead I went and bought a single ticket to <laughs> the opening night of Star Wars and sat by myself. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I think I'm going to add that as another favourite. Another favourite of mine is definitely going to the movies by yourself. Doing things by yourself. Honestly, so many people are afraid of doing things by themselves because they feel like they'll look like an idiot. But like, I do literally everything by myself and I enjoy it so much. Like, sometimes I prefer my own company to other people's. Most of the time I do. <laughs> Honestly, think about it. Going to the movies yourself, you have no one to share popcorn with, so you can get like a large popcorn, make it look like, you know, no one goes by themselves, so you look like you're buying it to share, but then you just get to sit there and eat it all by yourself. So you get all the popcorn you want, you have nobody like chatting in your ear saying things, you get to choose what movie you want to watch, what time you want to watch, you can make it perfectly suit your whole entire day. It is just the best, honestly, it is the best. Same goes for food. If you want to go out for dinner, just go out for dinner. I do it all the time. I eat out all the time and I'm alone. But I don't find it weird. I just think, well, I felt like this food, so I'm going to eat that food. And I don't need to argue with someone and say, but I want Thai, but I want Japanese. Like, I want Thai, I'm going to get Thai. It's great. Guys, it's so great. You just, you need to start trying doing things by yourself because like spending time with people is great, but like save some time for you. Have like you nights, you dates, me dates, master dating, like master dating, but master dating, you get me. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. That is all my favorites for this month. Um, if you wanna see how I got my hair like this too, there was a tutorial that went up about a week ago, so I will link that below as well. Super, super exciting. Hope to see you guys again very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye. Why am I in such a freaking weird mood? <gasps>